Many of you by now may know that on my own website, shanecraig.tech, I have a page which is fully dedicated to giving you guys the wallpapers that you may see on my devices in my videos. For the most part, if you've seen one of my phones with a wallpaper, that wallpaper is probably here on this page and you can download it in full quality. I give it away, it is yours to keep for free. But a lot of people have also asked me sort of how I go about making these wallpapers. And that's what we're gonna talk about today in this video because my process has actually gotten a lot more accessible with a recent update to Google Photos. So this is the screen of my Galaxy Z Fold 7, but this is something that you can do on most phones now. Rather than using the AI wallpaper option that most phones have built in now, or at least several phones, Samsung phones and Pixel phones can do these generative AI wallpapers, they're a bit too restrictive. We're gonna make our own. So we're gonna go into the Gemini app. And in here, you can generate an image just with text, or you can give it an image as a reference point. A lot of the time, that's what I do. I take a photo, and I give Gemini that photo, and I say, make a version of this photo in a particular art style. You may notice that with a lot of my wallpapers, they're sort of in like a cartoon, almost like anime style. I feel like that works really well for this process, but you can try different art styles if you want to. So I'll give you an example of something that's just whole cloth created by Gemini. We can just send that and it's going to generate this image. You may be thinking, Shane, we know we can make images with Gemini. What is the point of what you're getting at here? But the point is most of the time these images, even when you download them in full quality, just aren't good enough quality to serve as a wallpaper for me. They end up looking pretty poor. And I don't like the way that looked at all. Let's try again. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. We'll go with it just for the purpose of this video. We're gonna click on the download button and it will download it in quote unquote full size. If we click on that, let's go into Google Photos. You will see it does look quite a bit better, but as you zoom in, again, the quality is just, it's just not quite there. But we have a new thing that Google Photos has rolled out. If we click on our edit button, and then we click on this little option up here to auto frame, click it one more time. What's gonna happen is it's going to do what's called out painting. It's basically going to zoom the photo out. And by doing that, now you have basically a larger image. We also have this little Gemini icon there that we're gonna have to get rid of. We can do that very, very easily. We can just kind of circle that and we can erase it. And now we have an image that I think could very easily be used as a wallpaper. Let's zoom this in a little bit until we're the exact same size as our screen. And this looks fine to me. This does not look like something that looks grainy or that there's like a loss of detail. Did it generate another Gemini icon there? Erase the Gemini icon before you do the outpainting so that it doesn't get confused. If you wanna take it a step further, you can then grab Galaxy Enhance X out of the Galaxy Store. This is specific to Samsung phones, so if you don't have a Samsung phone, ignore this. And then you can grab that image and you should be able to increase the resolution, This, in this case, by 2X. And that is also going to kind of make it bigger and clean it up a little bit. We're getting closer and closer to being good enough to be a wallpaper. I think we were probably fine before, but now with this change, it should be absolutely great. So if we zoom in on this, you can see the difference that that is making. That is a very, I think, dramatic difference. So we can save that version of that. And now we have a wallpaper. But like I said, you can give Gemini a reference photo. So here's a photo of a carpenter bee on some flowers. And we're gonna say, draw an image inspired by this, but use an interesting art style that will be good for a wallpaper. So we should use that image as a reference point and you should get something halfway decent here. So here is our B and that's actually very close to the original photo. I kind of like this, but again, the resolution is way too low. Even in the full quality version, it's close, it's close, but it's not quite there. So we're gonna go into edit, we're gonna zoom it out, we're gonna auto frame it, and that also will allow you to sort of reframe the image as well if you need to do that. But again, it's just gonna zoom it out, and I think that that's going to be even more suitable. I really like that art style. We're gonna save that as a copy. If we zoom it in to be about the same size as my Z Fold screen, it's really close. We're gonna bounce over to Galaxy Enhance again. And eventually, we're not gonna have to do this because what Gemini is going to be giving us is going to be high enough quality that it's just not gonna be necessary. But for now, it's a thing you might wanna do. And then while we're talking about sort of Samsung specific things, you can grab Drawing Assist. 
And you can do something really, really similar with this. I love throwing images over to Drawing Assist to use as a reference. We're going to go with this Webtoon style. Is there anything else that's any better? I think the Webtoon style is going to be just fine. You can add text in there if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just simply use that image. And this is going to happen locally on device. It's a little bit more hit or miss, I think, than Gemini because it's not quite as powerful of a model. You can see there that it was inspired by that, obviously, but it was pretty far off from what the original image actually was. Let's try a different one. We'll go back to that B and see if we get anything that's closer to what the photo actually showed. There's less in the photo. There's less to be confused about. And again, okay, a little bit strange. That could be a cool wallpaper, but it's not really all that close. And then you can go through that same process of maybe zooming it out using Galaxy Enhance to increase the resolution. And again, you should have a pretty solid wallpaper. Of course, it's also worth pointing out that you can just add some text to this as well because you can do an image, you can do text. If you can draw well, you can even do a little bit of a doodle on top of that and have it change it as well. So you can just kind of customize it a bit more to get closer to what you're looking for. So a lot of these are made with Pixel Studio and then zoomed out, and that was really cool. But now you can do these same sorts of things without having to have a Pixel. You can use Gemini, you can zoom them out with Google Photos, that's roll out to everybody, and you can use this to create some really, really unique and cool looking wallpapers that you can use on your own device. Or you can go to the link in the description and just check out the free wallpapers that I've already got on there for you, whichever way you want to go. Uh, I think you've got some pretty cool options now for having unique and original wallpapers. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.